African-American man who was an accountant who had come to me and asked for the opportunity to place a bid to provide Georgia with this electronic voting machines. His name was Ethan Gibbs. Ethan was horrified about the 2000 elections, not necessarily whether the Democrats or Republicans won, but the fact is that millions of people's vote didn't count. In the 2000 election, there were 180,000 uncounted votes in Florida. There were over 80,000 uncounted votes in the state of Georgia. In Cook County, there were 62,000 uncounted votes. There's the real problem. He had a very simple concept, that you should be able to verify your vote, just like you can verify your money in a bank and the money you get out of an ATM machine. The machine prints out a paper ballot that shows who you voted for. Once you verify that the ballot accurately recorded who you voted for, you drop it into a ballot box. The machine still counts the votes on election night, but if there's a challenge by one of the candidates, it's the paper ballot that gets counted. There are a lot of folks who sold us machinery in the past who want to sell us machinery in the future that do not live up to the Ethan Gibbs standard. Machines that don't live up to the Democratic standard. And we shouldn't accept second best. There can never be any uncounted votes where the voter does not have an opportunity to verify that their votes have been received, recorded, and counted. He'd say, you're an investigative reporter. Why don't you report? And I'd say, well, you know, why, why is he bugging me? You know, I mean, what's, you know. I don't see any story here. He said, you know, think about this. Diebold is an ATM machine maker. Every single one of their ATM machines gives you a receipt and has an audit trail. And he told me, I'm coming to this as an accountant and an auditor, right? Is why would you make a machine that doesn't provide a paper trail and can't be audited? <laughs> and he left it at that and I said, that's a good question. <laughs> and I began to trace the history, and then I wrote an article uh, right after that, which is a cover story in the free press. And then uh, Harvey Wasserman and I wrote a follow-up article for MotherJones.com. The great tragedy was one week after the free press article occurred and the Mother Jones article occurred, about one week, Ethan Gibbs died uh, in a tragic accident where his car veered in front of uh, of a truck. I was scheduled to speak out in California and I wanted him to go with me and to demonstrate his machine. So I called him on the Thursday and I asked him to come. Meanwhile, I get out to California. I get a phone call saying he's been in a terrible accident. I think he'd be very disappointed because he worked hard on it for years. He got the attention of big companies like Microsoft, and it's not easy to get their attention. And I think he would be sorely disappointed that we haven't lived up to either his dream or the American dream. I think we owe it to Ethan Gibbs to make sure that his vision for a true, real, verifiable vote happens in the United States. Thank you.